Hello, my name is Jason Elkhoury and welcome to the tour of 25 of 23 Tay Street here in Watson, just situated right up there. On offer is two bedrooms, one bathroom and one car space and it's a beautiful unit, it's beautifully presented because uh, it's house proud living owners there at the moment. Now, Location is everything in real estate and the fair complex here in Watson is quite a large complex but this one's super important because it's situated right in front of a patch of reserve and right across you see beautiful trees, a patch of green and most importantly no other units. So from this side which I'll show you guys in a second there's two bedrooms that face this side this is the east so you get beautiful morning sun and it's unobstructed. So location like I said is everything let's go and check it out from the inside. Okay, so downstairs you've got a secure access door and then it's just one flight of stairs up and then it's just yourself and one other neighbour next to you here. And there's even a, a bit of a common ground here where you can put your shoes and you can put, a, I guess, a bike or anything you don't want inside. You can use it as a bit of a storage area. But come on through. Right away, you're greeted with this huge bright and light open plan living area. So this is a, a timber look flooring that goes right throughout the property. Um, there is carpets in the bedrooms. So that's the bedrooms are towards the east wing and then this is towards the west wing. So you can just see, we're filming this about 1.30 uh, in the afternoon now and that you can see how beautiful and bright this side of the home is at the moment. All right, so like I said, huge open plan living area. We've got one little setup here as like a, I guess a living space. And then this can be shut off, I guess, uh, with your couch uh, and have another um, a dining room space here if you like. This isn't set up as a dining room at the moment, but you can do whatever you like with it. If you want to have a few yoga mats or just have a segregation uh, uh, at home study, you can separate this part of the, uh, the living space with that part of the living space when you have uh, this size of living. Up there in the corner, you've got a reverse cycle unit. So that does heating and cooling. And then again, if you face uh, towards your right, you'll just see two windows again out to the west. Uh, and because we're on the second story here, we've got beautiful views of green right now. So uh, uh, springtime, this is gonna look beautiful. We'll check out the balcony in a second, but let's just flow through to the kitchen. So you've got um, a really nice big bench space here. So it's not often in apartments you're gonna have a bench space. Sometimes there might be a galley style kitchen and there's literally no preparation spot. So this is a really good size. Uh, even got a bit of space here for a breakfast bar, like I said. They don't need to use a dining space. They don't need a dining table. They use the breakfast bar. Uh, you've got a one large bowl over here for the sink. Your dishwasher tucked away there as well. Obviously uh, your, your standard cupboards and drawers. You've got a gas cooktop. So gas cooktop in apartments, not very common. Uh, which is really good to know. And you've got electric, uh, cook, uh, electric oven underneath. And again, that reverse cycle um, range hood over. Bit of pantry space over here, tucked away around there. And again, cupboards right throughout, so you can use it for pantries or plates or whatever you like. And again, a uh, bit of a fridge spot here. Pretty, pretty large, a bit more uh, larger than a, a standard fridge size, where that's pretty good. If you just turn around, you'll see the uh, intercom uh, from downstairs, so if you want to buzz guests in from downstairs, you're able to. And then again, you've got the, uh, the um, uh, remote for the reverse cycle unit. Tucked around here, you've got your linen closet. And then right across from this kitchen space, another wet area, is the bathroom. So coming on through, you've got your vanity right in front of you uh, with mirror over. Just tucked away on this side, you've got your toilet and then your shower, just tucked behind the door. And then this is kind of like your laundry setup. So you've got a, a sink, you've got a washing machine, space for washing machine here, and space for your dryer there as well. Now there is actually a clothesline that you can use out on the balcony, but you can also use a dryer space here. Uh, and then we're just gonna flow through to the east side of the wing. So we're gonna call this bedroom number one. The larger size uh, out of the two bedrooms. Again, carpet underfoot. We've got two sliding mirrored robes both hanging and shelf space. And then if we look over to the right, you'll see uh, you've got blinds, uh, roller blinds up here. And then this has, a, again, like I said, uh, east view, so beautiful morning sun. Again, that's um, obviously like I showed you at the, at the start, that's a community center right across. And again, uh, beautiful views of green there. All right, let's go check out number uh, bedroom number two. Now this is pretty funky the way the owners have set this up. No, this doesn't come with the purchase. Um, we can have a chat about it later if you like. Maybe we can ask the owners, but no, it's not gonna come with it. But it's a really good size bedroom number two. So it's set up right now as a study and I guess a bit of a, a, a little um, music studio at the moment. So heaps of space, again, on the walls. You can just see how much uh, the owner has used the wall space, again, for different goals and uh, different achievements. And again, they're using it as a study at the moment. And again, this uh, faces east, so beautiful, beautiful view. Again, Mount Majura there, and you've got a uh, beautiful green trees, colorful uh, outlook at the moment. Coming back through the property, 
Let's just go over to the balcony while we're here. So again, like I said, you'll see you notice that clothesline there right away. So you can use that if you don't want to use the dryer. A little bit wet today, so uh, good that we can show you this on camera in case it is wet at the open home. Uh, but yeah, like I said, beautiful uh, balcony. Again, you're on the second story, so views out to the west, and you've got a beautiful large tree right in front of you. That's our uh, gas hot water system there, and underneath is the, uh, the condenser unit for the reverse cycle system. And then just around here as well, there's a bit of a storage space uh, tucked around there. So again, any bikes, shoes, suitcases, whatever you want to use, you can chuck some things in there and then put it in its forever home. Okay, so the unit is just there. We've just come downstairs and out through the, uh, the west door. Um, this is your allocated car spot. So you've got a cover over, so it's used as a carport, and it's nice and close. You're literally on an end uh, car spot, so only one neighbor. So you can open and uh, close doors as you like, and then literally come through this door and upstairs uh, through your unit. There's also multiple visitor car spaces around as well for any guests. Well, there you have it, guys. There's your very, very detailed walkthrough tour. We've shown you the ins, the outs, and the location, and the location right across from this patch of reserve as well. So uh, unobstructed views to this park and over to Mount Majura. It's absolutely beautiful, and we can't wait to see you guys at one of the open homes.